So to become the best fighter that you possibly can, guys, you're going to need to hone your mechanics to their fullest capabilities. And that's going to mean a whole bunch of practice. You know, for some reason, man, you know, it just seems like a lot of players think they could just hop into an arena or just jump into a tournament with no practice at all and then just completely dominate their opponents. I'm sorry, but you're not Superman. You know, unfortunately, that's nowhere close to the reality of the situation. And to succeed in Fortnite competitive, like, you're definitely going to have to put that grind in. So the two most important things, you know, when it comes to being a good W keyer are accurate aim and good mechanics. I tell you guys all the time when you hit me up on my Insta at Yo Motivation Guy, these are the questions that you guys bring to me. You know, so playing quickly and just changing your play style on the fly, depending on the situation you're in, is so key so that you're always able to stay ahead of whoever you're fighting, right? So in this season, especially, you know, you've probably already like realized that that peace control is an incredibly important component of everybody's skill set. And having fast mechanics that will allow you to make smart plays at a lightning fast speed will obviously give you guys an edge in that regard. So we recommend practicing using a custom map like Raider 464's peace control map. That is my go-to. So, you know, you can really increase your raw mechanical skill while also, you know, spending time in the Skavox aim training so you can really hone in your aim to a laser sharp focus. If Raider's map isn't to your taste, okay, a brand new Skavok Peace Control map also recently got released, which can help you switch up your training routine for even more improvement. Practicing whenever you get the chance to creative maps like this is always a good move, guys, and it's something that a lot of pro players will do before ever jumping into an arena game. So the best way to improve is to set up a routine that you're going to complete every single time you jump into the game. And so just make sure that you focus on every aspect of your gameplay to really just pump up your consistency, right? It's what the pros do, right? And they're pros for a reason. Let me ask you this, like, if you're unsure that your training routine is working for you, then maybe, you know, one of our pro coaches can lend you a hand. How about this? Why don't you head on over to ProGuys.com with the link in the description where our pro coaches are ready and waiting to boost your abilities at any time of the day. So, what are you waiting for? Alright, so while we're on the subject of routines, incorporating arena into your training time is definitely like the best way to improve your fighting skills and your fighting IQ. While you're in arena, guys, always try to take as many fights as possible. You know, a lot of players who aren't confident in their skills will try to avoid fighting in Fortnite. Well, that's only going to lead to you just stagnating and never getting better. How do you expect to learn how to fight if you already aren't, you know, just fighting people right now? So by playing and fighting in arena, guys, you're going to put yourselves in so many scenarios, you know, while fighting your enemies, which is going to help you a ton when it matters the most. Just make sure that you learn from all your mistakes and just use that knowledge in future fights. Most players never actualize or realize what they're doing wrong, and that's a huge reason why they don't improve while fighting. To make sure that you avoid making those same mistakes over and over again. Step back for a minute, you know what I mean? Take a breath, um, take stock of just what actually happened to you and that really made you lose the fight, the way you died, you know, and the way you got eliminated, and just try to come up with ways that you could definitely counter it next time. So the most efficient way to do something like this, I know I say it almost in every video because it is the staple of improving in Fortnite. It's VOD reviewing. You know, reviewing your previous games is something that, you know, just anyone can do, really, and it's just really made especially easy by the fact that you can just load a replay of right inside of Fortnite itself. And so what you're going to do is just watch over your gameplay while taking notes about everything that you noticed that you did wrong. So remember to be honest with yourself though, like because if you're not honest about the mistakes that you make, you're never really gonna improve. And so after taking those notes and just watching your gameplay back, go and check out a pro that you think is like similar to your playstyle. So if you're going for W King, okay, that's gonna be somebody like Clicks or Noah Ray Lee because they both win most of the time by just pushing hard, applying pressure, and just warming their way inside their opponent's heads. So compare everything they do to everything you did. And then you're going to be able to realize and see like where you're going wrong, which will allow you to discover where areas you can grow in and that you can really just target by practice. And so by playing a lot of arena, you know, reviewing your mistakes and practicing every time you play the game in creative, you're going to be able to grind your way up to the top even faster. All right, bunch of questions on me. It's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we want to know who you think is like the absolute ultimate fighter in Fortnite at the moment. You know, we're, we're not asking for your like favorite player, but you know, just one that you can think just can really fight the best. Let us know in the comments below and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, back to the video. Fortnite isn't like just a perfect game by any means and there are many secret exploits that the pros use which are absolutely crucial for their consistency. So if you're not abusing the exploits that exist in the game, at the moment, man, you're, I'm telling you, you're, you're going to be putting yourself at a major disadvantage, which is why you need to learn them. So, you know, there are many exploits that you can use in Fortnite ranging from techniques like 
the Norelli cone phase, or the Martaz ramp peak, and many different fake outs and pickaxe plays that can absolutely baffle your opponents. The Norelli cone phase will work in a ton of different scenarios and will literally allow you to throw your builds right through your opponent's walls. It's easy, you know, because all you need to do is just run up to the side of your opponent's wall and then place a cone down while you crouch and uncrouch. The timing is pretty precise, so it might take you a little bit of practice to really get it down, but it definitely should allow you to peace control your opponents with ease before they even know what's happening. All right, so this is just one of many exploits that you can use to defeat your opponents while W King, but it's also probably the strongest. So give yourself a try, and I'm telling you, man, give it a chance, man. It's 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 gonna work wonders. You know, one of the things that a lot of players simply fail to realize when it comes to both fighting and W King is that their drop spot actually has a pretty large impact on how well they're going to perform. And learning everything about it is so important. You know, it's important to remember, guys, that you know while hot dropping or landing at a name POI can be fun if you want a little bit of a quick reaction you know i get it it just isn't actually necessary if you want to start playing with the w key play style so going in for a hot drop is a bad idea if you want to continue w king after winning off spawn so with the vast number of people who drop into these high value locations there's a very big chance that you're going to end up getting third party and just dying or you might just end up losing all your resources and fights and then well and then you end up dying too Instead, let me tell you this, you should actually try and land somewhere that is on the outside of POIs, like the spires around Retail Row, you know, the Weeping Woods or Believe Beach, or even landing at random houses around those locations. This way, you're going to be pretty much completely uncontested off spawn, unless you get unlucky, which will allow you to just loot your area quickly. So quick uncontested loot means you're going to be able to jump into a fight straight away. From here, and I mean like right here, you can rotate into the POI that you drop next to and then third party with your superior levels of materials and HP giving you a comfortable buffer, you know, that will really just allow you to take on your enemies without even having to worry about running out of mats, ammo, or even your health. And so in the best lobbies, man, like the ones with really good players, <laughs> it's the players who fights last and manages to safely disengage first that really stays alive. So the next time that you want to W key in your arena games, or even when you want to drop off in your first game of a tournament, think about where you're going to land. And that's going to affect your loot. And both of things will change how long you manage to stay in the game. You know, another absolutely major part of succeeding in Fortnite, you know, and winning more of your fights is how patient you are in your games. And whether you are more aware than your opponents or not, you know, now playing aggressively is obviously the definition of W King. I get it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should just start playing like without your brains, <laughs> right? You know, you should always just keep aware of your surroundings, use your map knowledge and you know, your game knowledge to set yourself up for success against any player that you come across. This means not taking any bad peaks or 50-50s because they're just a surefire way for you guys to take damage. You know, you should always try to take the smartest route when fighting, you know, using the terrain, which is so important, you know, the zone and your own skills to your advantage so that the enemy can never gain the upper hand on you. So make sure guys in box fight situations that you engage with a lot of counter piece control that's already around you, you know, stopping your enemy from being able just to take your pieces, even if they manage to do something like break into your box. And so by doing that, you're going to make sure that your opponent has a real hard time dealing more damage to you than you will to them. Next time you guys end up in a fight, never take a peek if you know that your enemies will have a good shot on you. I know it's hard to resist. Trust me, I was playing yesterday and I definitely had the urge for it because you, sometimes you, you let your instincts, you let your just your, your emotions, I would say, just get the best of you. But we still got to play smart, right? So you got to start fighting, you know, smart, like when you W key or you're just going to get eliminated time and time again. And I know what that feels like. So, you know, even if you do have a bad fight and you end up losing an arena or a tournament game, just remember to keep a cool head. It only takes like one pop off to really bring your arena score back up to, you know, or you could just be put on top of tournaments leaderboard. So if you let that one fight put you in a bad mindset, guys, you know, all you're going to do is just ruin the rest of your games.